Good morning. Um, I thank Stylecom for the opportunity of having me to speak here today. And I thank Marco for that wonderful introduction. Yeah, you know, I, I struggle to figure out how a travel company can relate itself to a forum like this. And I spent a whole day thinking hard about the relevancy. And then I found there isn't much indeed. And yeah. But still, when Marco and Lucy invited me to do this presentation, I accepted with no delay. And then I quietly took my phone out and looked up what digital media means. About 1,400 years ago, a Chinese monk named Tang, he walked 25,000 kilometers from Xi'an through Pakistan and Nepal to India to study Buddhism. Not until 900 years later in the 16th century was the story turned into a novel, which later became one of the greatest four classic literatures in China called Journey to the West. The story depicts Tang and his three apprentices, a monkey, a pig, and another monk travel to India. And along the way, they encountered a total of 9 times 9, 81 dilemmas, where all sorts of monsters and pretty faced female evils trying to catch him and kill him and eat his body. Because the rumors say that tongue's meat can make you live a long life. It sounds like New Zealand nutrition products. And so, what does this story tell us? Firstly, we should take advantage of the instancy of digital media. Imagine if Tang was able to send a Tencent Weibo or checking on Facebook every time he's caught by the monster, he would have been rescued a lot sooner. And because digital media is capable of spreading the news instantly, uh, as it happens. It also enables location information and, and multiple formats, for example, photos or videos. And in fact, in the city of Wuhan, uh, the detection rate of local police department has improved significantly since they launched their official Weibo account. Also, if Tang could send a uh, video to share on Instagram or Douyin, or write some soulful uh, blog articles, it wouldn't take 900 years for the story to be written and become popular. Number two, the transmission of message can be good or risky. Uh, if rumor didn't exist, the monsters wouldn't be interested in killing Tang and eating his body, even the lack of shower facility back then. So the same applies to digital media. And when we think about the fast and vast spread of news online, we should perhaps pay some attention to what's actually been delivered. While we allow the freedom of, of the review, and some of the messages may be distorted. And, and so, um, we should be careful with that. And also, the monk didn't have a helpful travel agent. So when you set foot in a strange place, especially in a foreign country, uh, you could easily get lost, walk the extra miles. Let's have a look at the map again. And you realize the distance between Xi'an and and India is, in fact, not that far. Otherwise, like the monk, who quite often finds himself in a dangerous situation. But certainly the majority of Chinese people, we don't eat humans, but um, those unexpected things can really affect productivity and efficiency. And this is where we can help. So in 2016, my business partner Ran Tao um, 
who has a master's degree in economics and actuary from the University of New South Wales, and also the guy who did the previous illustrations. So he and I started this company called Imagine Travel, interpreted as Never Imagine Go. Primarily, uh, we targeted two markets. This one, private family tour. Unlike Dean and Jason's company, who's got a cutting edge world leading technology blockchain and one for legend, the only chain we would possibly use is the one around the tire so the van doesn't sleep off the road. And, but I can imagine our key focus is on people. We endeavor to pay extraordinary attention to every detail possible to make our customers' journey a bit more pleasant. And so that's our focus. And the second one, we provide tailor-made travel solutions to corporate and government delegations visiting New Zealand for business or political purposes. And many of our clients, they are among the top 500 China's uh, enterprises. In 2017, we also hosted, uh, in partnership with Beijing Tourism Association, the New Zealand Travel Expo in the famous venue, the Beijing uh, National uh, Aquatic Centre, known as the Water Cube. That single one-day event attracted some 7,000 visitors to explore the land of long white clouds. The event was also uh, covered by local media, including state-owned China Central Television, CCTV News, Xinhua News, uh, Youku, uh, and many industry media, as well as our own WeChat account. And based on that WeChat platform, we were able to conduct some follow-up activities. For example, um, price drop or a place order, and so on. Now, we are ready to offer TV businesses the outbound travel solutions. In addition to flight or accommodation reservations, we offer our clients a comprehensive range of services, including chartered fleets, rental vehicles, interpreters, drivers, uh, local personal assistant, and more. We help you plan your itinerary in accordance with your meeting schedules. We provide recommendations to the entertaining part of your business trip or legal activities, of course. And we also uh, advise you on local customs, health and safety issues. Going on a business trip, the, the fundamental you hope for is safety and a smoother journey. And that's where we can help. And in the meantime, we care about your company and personal privacy seriously. Now, before concluding my speech, I would like you to guess the meaning of the following. First one. What does this mean? Yes, hello, or thank you, or courtesy. Second one, how about this? Right and left. Be very careful with that. You don't do this unless you're attending a funeral. So goodbye, punk, that's okay. Um, but you don't do this to greet someone. You don't do that. Because in ancient time, people use their right hand to hold weapons to fight. So covering your right hand means peace and courtesy. Last one, what's that? Blinking eyes. That's a bad habit I can't get rid of. Thank you very much.